Hi, I'm Jimmy Blakeney, product designer for Isle, and in this video, we're going to go over our custom electric pump. Uh, the pump comes with everything you see here, including this little user's guide. You may have arrived at this video through this QR code, but you can also use the printed manual for additional information. Otherwise, everything that includes that's included with the pump is seen here. So this little bag contains adapters that you don't need to inflate all of our high pressure inflatables. They're just a bonus that you, so that you can use this pump for other products that may have a different type of adapter. So you do not need these for inflation. Uh, this little bag also includes spare fuses for your pump, spare gaskets for the hose, uh, so that you have those as spare parts. What I've done already is I've plugged the unit into a vehicle, the 12 volt outlet in any, any vehicle works. And before I start inflating, I wanna have the vehicle on. So the vehicle on is what just ensures that you're not going to run out your battery um, unless you have a spare battery. You can also use this with a power bank. If it has a 12 volt adapter, those work great too. So now that I have it inflated, I can see that the unit is on because it's reading zero. I'm going to take the hose and I'm going to screw it in to the port. Now that that's screwed in, I'm going to take whatever it is I'm inflating, remove the valve cap, and I'm going to install the adapter. So I can install that and press down and twist. And when I press down and twist, that's going to lock into place. Now on the unit itself, when it comes to the adjustments here, we're going to have PSI and bar is the top button. And that just adjusts the reading. We like to use PSI, that's pounds per square inch, versus bar, which are just two different systems for measuring pressure. So I like to have it on PSI because we recommend 15 PSI for our paddle boards and kayaks and about four PSI for our light, lower pressure products. So once I do that, I'm going to then be able to adjust this with the plus button, the minus button, and here I have the power button. So when I zoom in on this and we look in really closely here, what you can see is that it's currently at zero. Now I can just press the plus button and it will go up. And if I hold it, it will increase further. So I can set it to whatever pressure I want. Since I'm inflating a dog catcher here, one of our smaller lower pressure products, I'm gonna inflate that to four PSI. Once I get it on the PSI I want, I just press the button. Once I press the button, it's gonna be quite loud uh, because this is a really rugged, durable pump. It's got a single motor inside for great reliability, but it is gonna be a little bit loud, but that is totally normal. That's the way it operates. <laughs> So it will run until it reaches the pressure that's indicated. Uh, you can also stop it the way I did, but by the when it reaches that pressure, it will stop on its own. So you do not have to monitor it. You can just walk away and do other things and it will stop once it's reached the desired pressure. So that is our custom electric pump. Uh, check it out. Great way to inflate your board, a lot easier than our manual pumps. And we'll see you on the water.